Hey everyone, welcome back. Today's video is going to be a small makeup declutter. A few days ago, I was going through my collection taking photos for my makeup inventory, which hopefully will be my next video. And as I was pulling everything out, I just discovered some things that I'm not really using. And yeah, I'm just gonna declutter a few things. The things that are in good condition, I will give to friends and family. A couple things are kind of old and maybe should be thrown away. But yeah, I'm pretty excited, so stay tuned for the makeup inventory. I upload at least four videos a week, and if you have not subscribed, go ahead and do that. And yeah, let's just get started. All right, here is the declutter basket. Like I said, there is not a whole lot in here. One item that when I was pulling out my cream products and taking pictures of those, I found this, which I do like this product actually quite a bit. It's the Daniel Sandler Liquid Cheek Color. It's a liquid blush. The reason I don't really reach for it is that it's a very pigmented and very watery liquid. And I don't know, it just kind of takes a bit more work than some of my other cream blushes. I could as easily apply too much. So it's just not the most convenient formula. So someone else could use this. I have other orangey colored liquid and cream blushes, but that one is actually a very good product. Let me talk about something that I don't think is a very good product. Um, <laughs> this is from ColourPop. This is the Fresh Kiss Glossy Lip Stain. And I talked about this in my recent Shop My Stash. I have decided to keep the color that was in my Shop My Stash because I do like that color. I just don't love this formula. It is so uncomfortable on the lips. Yeah, the whole glossy lip stain thing is just like a little confusing to me because it's very sticky. Um, it doesn't dry down matte, but it's a little bit glossy. It's just kind of uncomfortable. I can make these work if I put a gloss on top that just kind of smooths it out a bit, but honestly, this is not comfortable on the lips, and this color is not my favorite anyway. This one is called Sun Kiss, but I have another one that I'm gonna keep for now, um, but just, yeah, I'm not into that formula. Another formula from ColourPop that, this one's okay. I don't hate this one as much as that other formula. It's just not my favorite. These are the So Glassy, um, lip glosses. It's just a little too sticky. I mean, this is a traditional lip gloss, which is totally fine. I love lip gloss. These are just a bit sticky. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell. You see how it's just like goops up a little bit? Um, yeah, this could be less sticky, but I don't know. I'm gonna keep, I have a couple others that I'm going to keep. This shade called Epiphany. I don't know. I don't really wear shades that pale anyway, so that one is gonna go. Um, and a lot of the stuff from ColourPop here, I did get in PR, by the way. Um, this is from Pixie by Petra. And this highlighter was such a big deal a few years ago. This is the Glowy Gossamer Duo. And I like this, I do. Um, I just have realized that a lot of my highlighters look the same. I'm still someone who wears highlighter every day. I realize like the trends are kind of going away from powder highlighter in particular. I still like it and I do wear it every day. I just don't put on as much as I used to and I've just realized a lot of my highlighters look the same. I fortunately have not bought a highlighter in a very, very long time. I haven't bought a powder highlighter I think in like two years. So I'm happy about that, honestly. I just feel like a lot of mine look the same and I just don't need to keep them all. So I like this, but that one is going to go. Um, there's actually gonna be two more powder highlighters here, but let me talk about this that I just like need to throw away. This is very old. I used to wear, partic in particular, this liquid liner every single day. If you watched my channel a few years ago, I wore winged liquid liner every single day. And I don't know, I just kind of stopped doing it and now I don't really want to. <laughs> um, so this has been my favorite for years. It's the L'Oreal Lanure Intense and it's a felt tip. There's a very few liquid liners I can actually do a wing with, and this is one of them. The other one I think is the Maybelline Line Stiletto. 
I just haven't worn liquid liner in a very, very long time. And honestly, I like the way my, my eyes are on the smaller side, so I feel like I was covering up some of my lid space with liquid liner. So this way I feel like I just put like a darker eyeshadow here on the corner and then I clean up my eyeshadow in like a straight line as much as possible. And I feel like it kind of gives a similar effect. It doesn't cover up my eyeshadow or my lid space and it saves time. So I haven't used this in a very long time. I've had this one I've had for like two years. So it just needs to go because basically I don't think I've hardly worn a liquid liner in the last like a year. Um, and then I have another one too. This one is from ColourPop. This one is called, yeah, it's just called the ColourPop Liquid Liner. This is the black shade in numero uno. Um, I th This is a finer tip. I'm not quite as skilled with this one as I was with the L'Oreal, although now I haven't done liquid liner in so long, I probably couldn't even do it if I tried. Um, but I liked this one, but again, I don't use liquid liner, so it's just time to say goodbye to that. Um, a lipstick from ColourPop. I love these Lux lipsticks. I really do. I have gotten some in PR and I've purchased some myself. I just am probably not really going to wear this shade. Uh, this is the shade Gallop and it's also a little bit <laughs> crushed. Um, I have other like orangey browns like this. So honestly, lipstick and highlighter are kind of like the categories that I'm realizing I don't need that many and a lot of them look the same. And <laughs> I feel like if I can just do different lip gloss, lip liner, lipstick combos, I can change up my lip color that way. I don't know, but I really like the Luxe lipsticks. I just don't need to keep all the ones that I have. All right, more powder highlighter. I really, I've, I've loved this highlighter, honestly, since I bought it. I just pretty much never use it anymore. This is the JD Glow in Saks and Fifth. It is a very intense gold highlighter. It's gorgeous. It's very intense though, and I'm just not really reaching for highlighters this intense anymore. Um, I'm just not. I like a glow, but I don't need it to be seen from outer space. So yeah, someone else can use this, but this is a really good highlighter. I mean, if you like super intense highlighters, here you go. Um, here, let me just swatch it because, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like really pigmented, like, Look at that. I mean, this is like more pigmented than some eyeshadows that I own. So it's just not my personal taste anymore. Um, but yeah, I mean, at the time that I bought it, I really loved it and I did get decent use out of it. I just, I don't really want to wear highlighter that intense. I really don't. Um, this highlighter, actually, I really like this shade is just a bit too deep for me. Um, this was sent to me in PR from ColourPop and I'm keeping the other shade that they sent me. This is the Super Shock Cheek, and this shade is in Natch. Um, it's just a bit dark for me, but I have to say that this newer formula that they created of the Super Shock Cheek is so good. I like it so much more than the other formula. I actually completely panned ColourPop Flexitarian, which is like one of my best panning achievements of my life which is awesome, um, but I didn't like that formula as much as this newer one because this newer formula, it's more of like a cream to powder hybrid, whereas the old formula, like Flexitarian, it's more of a cream, but it looks a bit textured on the skin. I don't know, this looks amazing on the skin. I really love these. Like I said, I'm keeping the other one that I have in a lighter shade. This shade just doesn't really match me, but this, this formula is amazing. Seriously, one of my favorite highlighter formulas now. It's amazing. Alrighty, and the last two things are also items that I got from ColourPop and PR. I've been excited that I've been getting ColourPop PR this year. Um, but that's just kind of what happens if you get sent a whole collection, like you're not gonna really use everything. That's just kind of the reality of PR, but they've sent me some really awesome stuff, which is great, and I've enjoyed trying the things out. These are just not necessarily a me product. These are their, what are they called? Yeah, they're color sticks. So um, I am gonna keep some of the other ones that I have. 
These are basically shadow sticks, although you could probably use them as lip liner as well. Um, I'm just not really using these. Uh, this shade is the Palace. This is a matte one. So this one I could use honestly as a lip liner, but I have similar lip colors. So I don't really need to keep it for that purpose. Um, and then this one, this is one of the shimmery ones. So they come in, some are a shimmer formula, some are a matte formula. This shade is called Devotion. This one is not quite as pigmented as I'd like. I've worn this one as an eyeshadow base and it's pretty, it is, but again, it's like one of those extra steps that I'm just not really going to take. So yeah, but that's it for this declutter. It, like I said, it's a small declutter and not a whole lot. Um, some of the stuff I got in PR, some I bought myself. None of these I would say are like truly bad except for this, the glossy lip stain. I really don't like it. Um, but everything else I'm just not using. And honestly, I've been sitting around staring at these liquid liners for however long. I haven't been wearing liquid liner anymore, so I need to just like give it up. If, if a day comes where I want to wear liquid liner again, I could go to the drugstore and repurchase the L'Oreal, which is probably what I would do. But I haven't gotten the urge. I really haven't. I think it's been well over a year since I was like consistently wearing a liquid liner. And this whole year, I don't think I've worn it more than like once. So, you know, our makeup tastes change over time and that is okay. Just like with the super intense highlighter, this was once my preference and it's just not anymore. That's what happens. We change our minds over time. So yeah, that is it for this video. Stay tuned. I upload four videos a week and hopefully my next video should be my updated makeup inventory, which I'm very excited about. After doing this little declutter, I actually feel really good about where my makeup collection is. So I am looking forward to sharing that with you guys. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.